oh my god. It's happening. I reported before about NASA finally admitting the Bureau is real and they did it some other way I forgot but now they leaked more classified information they're hiding it though you gotta decipher it you gotta you gotta think about it now NASA is telling us there's an asteroid but it's a Trojan asteroid following Neptune dude this has to be it. That's Nibiru. It's a Trojan, like the Trojan horse. It's inside this asteroid. It's hiding there. And it's going to spring out and surprise us when we least expect it. Guys, this is it. This is the news all us Nibiru believers needed. I'm telling you, NASA finally fucking told us. Look, all right, this is what they said. Let's break it down. A Trojan asteroid. When did they ever started calling asteroids Trojans? Has been discovered following Neptune in its orbit around the sun. There it is. Look at that. Everybody believed Nibiru was hiding behind the sun or around the sun or south of the sun. There it is. Just the opening statement alone. Trojan asteroid, so-called, and around the sun. They admitted it on Thursday. The 62 mile wide Trojan, they gave it a new name, 2008 LC18, now let's see, 18, 18, what could 18 be, maybe it's a way of saying December 21st, 2012, but we gotta break the code, we have, somebody get on that, we gotta break the code, 2008 LC18, I means I'm telling you, I know it does. And now they were discovered as astronomers were trying to see if asteroids existed or what they called the Lagrangia point L5 near Neptune. Not sure quite what that means just yet, but I'm guarantee it, it means something about Nibiru. Alright, they gave us some like fake information here describing what Trojan asteroids are asteroids caught between a dead zone. Uh oh, dead zone. Where gravitational pull from two large bodies, such as planets and the sun, equalize each other. This allows the object to be pulled in the same speed as a planet orbiting the sun. They So they think. I guarantee it, they left out Dwarf Star, Brown Star, Nibiru, and Akronani. That, however the hell you say that. They're involved. I know they are. Uh, Trojans generally do not collide into other planets. See, there they are trying to trick us again because Nibiru is coming and it's going to slam into us. They don't know. They don't want you to get panicky. Don't, don't panic, though. Don't panic. Because if you buy some guy's book for like twenty nine ninety nine, he can tell you where in the world to hide when Nibiru strikes. And you'll live through it. You'll survive. You'll survive this planet coming. All right, so make sure you buy this book. He's not giving it away for free because he doesn't want everybody to survive. Only the people who buy it. And let's see. <laughs> they found some other Trojan asteroids in L4 and L5. So they tell you. And Dr. Scott Shepard. He's the one. And Chadwick Trujillo of the Gemini Observatory in Hawaii. They used the Subaru Telescope. Fuck Ford Telescope. Subaru. Now they're trying to tell us that there's 200,000 Trojan asteroids hanging out out there. Motherfuckers. They're lying. There's only one, and its name is Nibiru. Oh, that's that, guys. Study. Be smart. Buy that book for twenty nine ninety five, And you can survive when this Trojan horse asteroid opens up and Nibiru comes out. Good luck, guys.